I have here a beginner's guide to Hell's Chicken. This is the best way to be able to min-max your event progression. And this is what I recommend you guys doing. First and foremost, before you even do the event, ideally, ideally, what you do is you go to your extraction, go into the banner, and get either get either your Sinclair. And what I mean by Sinclair is get your lifetime stew Sinclair, which is a boosted rate up, as well as your RB Chef de Cuisine Ryoshu. The reason why you want to get either one of those in your polls in the beginning, early on, is because of this. Once you get that, you can spark for the other one. And the reason why you want to do that is this. So the event gives you event currency, which is Bongi Plushy. So the Bongi Plush is going to be your event currency. And to get more event currency during this event, you're going to need to have Ryoshu, Sinclair, Don Quixote, and Gregor on your team. So what does that mean? Ryoshu... If you got her in the banner pull, will give you a plus 40% increase to the amount of bongi plushes you get. So stacking that with lifetime stew, you get 80%, and with Gregor, you get 100%. So double the bonuses. The reason why you want to do this really early on is if you get Ryoshu or lifetime stew in the beginning, what you want to do is you want to ideally spend 400 shards to get the other one. That way, you're already at 80%. Gregor is given to you once you're at 200 ish bongi plushies which you can get very quickly and lifetime stew don quixote you can get 2200 so it'll take you some more time so relatively speaking you get a hundred percent bonus event currency pretty early on which is worth it and let me explain why it's worth it it's worth it because you're going to be saving a lot on your stamina so each of these stages costs 16 stamina each which is you know not cheap obviously having them at the beginning of the event is the best because that way you get your bonuses right away and do note that in the story you can actually borrow a friend unit so ideally what you do is either you borrow a sinclair with lifetime stew or you borrow a ryoshu the only issue is in the mirror dungeons here these are basically mirror dungeons you won't be able to use your friend unit however if we go in here what will happen is you gain the option to set up your team in order for you to get the bonuses in your team what you need is to ensure that gregor sinclair and ryoshu that these three characters are on your team when you're doing your runs the reason why is if these characters aren't on your team then you don't get the bonus passive of the premium or not the premium of the event currency that you get from your stuff another thing that's a quality of life change is once you've ran through the event one time you can click preset and preset will give you the previous team that you use as you can see i'm using uh the event gregor ryoshu and also lifetime stew what you want to do with your team building is you ideally want to have a mixture of slash and pierce the final boss is weak to pierce and most of the other units in this dungeon is weak to slash so slash and pierce are going to be your main points of interest so let's just dive right in and show you guys the strategy now, how the dungeon works is it's very similar to Mirror Dungeon, but you want to pay attention to these chicken nodes. The chicken nodes give you the ability to be able to gain access to powerful ego buffs. So I will skip very quickly to that and show you guys what these new options are. And obviously, spoiler alert. Okay, we're finally at the chicken uh you want to pick one of these three things and i'm not gonna spoil it for you guys but as you can see the ego gifts are a little bit different we're gonna do the alert truthfully and as you can see the the threshold for winning is a 
quite high. So let's just go Sinclair. We're in it to win it, right? Oh, baby. And we get the Contaminated Needle Thread with this one. Each turn, the first skill to deal damage to your enemy inflicts bleed equal to the third of the damage belt. Nice. So, very, very strong egos, as you can see. Very fun. And let's just fast forward all the way to the boss. If you guys care about spoilers, make sure you skip to the timestamp ahead. And if you don't care about spoilers, then, well, you've been warned. So, three, two, one, let's go. So, here's the chicken. As you can see, it's weak to technically pierce. Normal to slash endures blunt. A little bit weird, but that's just kind of how it goes. Ideally, what you want to do is avoid these guys. Don't hit them, because they kind of suck. But only hit these guys if they unleash the paralyzed attack on you. They unleash a paralyzed skill clash. If not, ignore. What you want to do, focus the chicken as hard as you can. And just clash with the skills that it's throwing at you. There's a chicken bucket head in the body. Just clash with the skills that are hitting you, and you should be fine. But we should be doing... Ego? Eh, no, we don't need to do Ego quite yet. We'll just fight the last skill. But all our skills are hopeless, which is not great, so go for the unopposed. Uh, Gregor is at 7 speed, so this skill should be a ton of damage, honestly. So we'll throw the damage into the body here, dominating. Sinclair can fight him here, and then we'll throw Cloudburst into here after the suppression goes off. So that should be how it works. Butcher Vriand. We're doing damage. Inflicting bleed. As much damage as we can. Slayer, 25. Paralyze. And Cloud Cutter should do a ton of damage on the body as well. As you can see, fatal, fatal, fatal to slash. Actually, no, it's fatal to slash right now because it was staggered, but Pierce is what actually messes it up. Uh, we want to hit him as much as we can. This is... Is the guy going to come by with us three? That's not good. We already clash with that. Okay, we have to clash with that at least. He's fighting. Ooh. Not good. It's slow. That's fine. We'll throw him in here. We'll have Ryoshu need to clash with this. And we should be good. Ooh, I was not supposed to hit that, but I guess we did. Clash with that. Nice. Kill this dude. As you can see, weak to pierce. Sinking. Oh, we're okay. We haven't died yet. Inflict bleed count. Slice the slab. Are broken. Now we should be able to full send into that guy. Paralyze is not good onto Ryoshu, but Ryoshu isn't doing. Actually, no. Ryoshu needs to. Block him for the bleed. Unopposed. Ah, uh, I don't like how that works. It's okay. Well, full ego. Use everything we can. Uh, we'll use this, and then we'll use this, and we'll use this too, and we'll win rate, and pray for success. Season 3, you got it. And then we'll land of illusion. 20 damage, as you can see. <laughs> Immune to blunt. Oof. Not great. Ledgerman gonna put in work, I think. But also, immune to blunt. Not the greatest skill to be using on this freaking boss. 16, okay. Heathcliff. Putting in tons of work. 
Ooh, fourth match flame. Unfortunately, mine's not up tied three, so it's not gonna be doing as much damage as it could, but eh, it's good enough. Throw in the burn. Oh, branch of knowledge is hitting a weak mob. I hate to see it. That is one of the issues when you just win rate your way through things and decide to call it a day. And that thing is staggered. We should be hitting the boss mainly, right? No. Leave that alive. Oh, hopeless. That's not good. I don't like to see hopeless. Let's change that up a little bit. Throw this here. Struggling, neutral, struggling. Hopeless, ugh. Favored, all right, there we go. That will do. Let Ledgerman do the work. Even though it's not the greatest, if you can stagger the enemy, you should be fine. And now since the dude staggered, we should be able to do some like pretty solid damage to it. At least to the body part that's completely weakened. <laughs> and stab and dead. Lovely. Six turns. So, as you can see, rewards 160 in terms of damage dealt. Heathcliff, Hong Lu, Su Chef, Su Chef, Sinclair. These are basically going to be your main units that you're going to have on your team. The three non-negotiables are you need to have Ryoshu, you need to have Sinclair's uh, Lifetime Stew. You can choose to not put Gregor in your team. If your team's not strong enough, I choose to put Gregor in my team because I do have a strong enough core where my team can complete the dungeon relatively quickly. It takes about 10 minutes to complete your dungeon run, so it's not bad at all. And as you can see, 160 amount of Bongi plushies is the amount that you'll be getting. So, you can relatively clear out the stage really quickly. My strategy for this is that, obviously, you want to go into your dispensary and just get one of the two ego or identity if you haven't already gotten it yet. If you're unlucky, then it kind of sucks to be you because there's not much you can really do about that since ideally, what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to either get Ryoshu, Spark for Sinclair, or get Sinclair, Spark Ryoshu, Ryoshu, and then just equip Gregor onto your team. I will say that if you don't get the identities and egos in this event, they will come back in the dispensary in Season 3. So these characters and events aren't locked away from you completely. But it's going to take at least half a year before you have a chance to get these characters and identities again. So if you're unlucky, you can wait half a year, which is two seasons until season three. And then these guys will be in the shop. But until then, this is the only way where you can get these characters. And if you miss out on it, you miss out on it. As you can see right here, we can get lovely, lovely events from this trade-in and sink or sink, not sink there, Don Quixote. Is at 2200. We have two weeks basically to complete this event, and I already got like a thousand 300 plushies in day one. So, for me to get 6,000, this is realistically only going to take me like five, seven days. If I really wanted to like take a chill, I could take eight days and we could get this through. So, there honestly isn't really a reason to rush, but that is under the caveat that I am using these three characters which is giving me a hundred percent bonus rate if you don't have any of these characters that means you're going to only be getting 80 plushies from that dungeon and that's going to suck it's going to slow down your progress a lot which means you have to grind more i would say technically it's worth it for you to get lifetime stew and sous chef sinclair and sous chef gregor reason being is you're going to save a lot of stamina since each of these runs aren't cheap because each of these runs are essentially 40 stamina. So being able to cut this in half is going to be worth it in the long run. As you can see, I still have a good chunk of lunacy because, you know, I was able to save up enough. So that's basically about it. Let me know down in the comment section down below what are the tips and tricks that you've used 
in this dungeon, I personally recommend that obviously go over and get your freaking units, ideally. Get sous chef Sinclair and Gregor, get these three, get the most amount of premium, not premium, but event currency that you can get. And then go into the story, do the mirror dungeon, go as hard as you can here and take your time. You should be able to get this done within the two weeks. Obviously, if you're less lucky, you're going to have to spend more energy and more time completing this. And if you are lucky like me, you can spend less time. As usual, let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think. Let me know if you have any tips and tricks that I have completely missed. I'm pretty sure I've missed a few. Oh, last thing. Uh, in the story mode here, you can actually still get a friend unit. So you can actually go and get yourself a friend unit. And your friend unit can be one of those characters that will give you plus 40% bonus to the event currency. But in the dungeons, unfortunately, you can't get a friend character. Anyways, I stream on Twitch Monday to Friday, and there's a Discord community where we talk about all things Limbus as well as other gacha games. As usual, John Panion signing out. See you guys later. Bye for now.